Have you ever thought something was so bad that it should be illegal? And not just any old illegal, but against the Constitution itself? This happened in 1919 with the 18th Amendment, which banned the production, sale, and transportation of alcohol. The 18th Amendment was the result of many generations of Americans who supported temperance, or not consuming alcohol. Often led by women in church groups, the temperance movement believed that drinking alcohol was a moral sin that led fathers and husbands to neglect their families. Not all women in religious groups opposed alcohol. For many, it was a central part of their culture and customs, including fine meals at the White House itself. In faiths such as Catholicism and Judaism, wine was part of religious rituals. Also, immigrant communities in urban areas often came from countries where alcohol was a more accepted part of life. Traditionally, the states regulated the health and morals of their citizens as part of the police powers reserved by the 10th Amendment. The states had the power to ban alcohol altogether, but people would cross state lines from one that outlawed alcohol to one that did not. So Congress proposed the 18th Amendment, ratified by the states in 1919, which prohibited the production, sale, and transportation of alcohol across the United States. The era known as Prohibition had begun. People still drank alcohol, though. They just couldn't do it publicly or legally. So an illegal trade sprang up, often involving violence and corruption. After 14 years, the 21st Amendment ended prohibition in 1933, in the midst of the Great Depression. Americans thought bringing back alcohol would bring back jobs, but they also saw the other cost to society of a law that was widely broken. Gangsters used violence to enforce their illegal trade in alcohol, and they bribed public officials to look the other way. The 18th Amendment is the only constitutional amendment that has been repealed or taken back. To do this, Congress had to choose a different method of ratification by the states under Article 5 of the Constitution. Because temperance supporters still controlled many states' legislatures, Congress called for special state conventions to approve the 21st Amendment. States and local governments can still ban alcohol if they want, but the U.S. government does not. What lessons about prohibition and its repeal do you think apply today?